So now that I got this pile of filth out of the way, it's now time to review Kingsman. viewers of the spy organization Kingsman this is your reviewer 22 tiger dude and I am here to review Kingsman the Secret Service Kingsman the Secret Service is directed by the one the only Matthew Vaughn who also brought you kick-ass and X-Men first class so Kingsman the Secret Service stars Colin Firth, Samuel L. Jackson, Michael Caine, and Taron Egerton. And this movie is about the spy organization that recruits this street kid named Eggsy. Eggsy, he lives during a troubled life. So Colin Firth goes to get Eggsy and wants to recruit him to be in this very competitive training program in order for him to get into the Kingsman organization. So with all that happening, a huge global threat is happening when this tech genius named Valentine wants to make the world go batshit crazy. I was interested in this film just specifically for the overall concept, for it being a spy movie, for the cast, for the director. I was excited for this movie for those things. And now that I've seen Kingsman The Secret Service, in my opinion, it's a really fun time. Now, of course, the first thing I have to talk about is Colin Firth. You watch Kingsman and Colin Firth pulls off being this cool action guy. I mean, I would love to see Colin Firth do more action now that I've seen Kingsman, and I heard most of the stunts he actually did on his own, which I really appreciated. But Colin Firth does a really great job. When he kicks some ass, it's really badass. I really can't think of anyone else that could play that type of role better than Colin Firth, so it was a good call for him to try it. And then you got Samuel motherfucker L. Jackson playing Valentine. And Samuel Jackson may not be exactly the villain you would expect. You would think he's gonna play the typical motherfucker villain. He does cuss. He definitely does say the usual F-bombs you hear from classic Samuel L. Jackson. But the villain Valentine, he was quite a unique villain. Like, yes, he's evil. Yes, he has his usual diabolical evil plan. But when there's violence happening, he actually can't take the violence. He doesn't like seeing the violence. Most villains crave violence. They love seeing people getting killed and beat. But with this character, Valentine, no. that it, It's the complete opposite. Brazil. Holy crap. The one that has the blades on her feet. The actress did such a great job. Not only was the character, not gonna lie, she was really pretty, but she was also such a badass. And she was just an interesting character. And the choreography and how she uses the blades, it's freaking badass. All the acting here is really good. I can't really say there's a bad performance here. I really like Michael Caine here. Taryn Edgerton, who plays Eggsy, I thought he did a nice job. And I can honestly see a bright future with the actor Taryn Edgerton. He just did a very awesome job. This movie has the X-Men first class feeling where you have the team training and that's what Kingsman is. Most of the movie is them focusing on training. Most of the movie is just Valentine planning his diabolical plan. But the cool thing about Kingsman is how it does have this nice homage to the old school spy movies. It plays a little satire in it actually because this movie does do a lot of mentions of the spy movies. Like there's plenty of times where this movie will mention James Bond. and. Holy shit, this movie is rated R for a reason, but it is flat out bloody in some moments, particularly this one scene inside a church. Holy fuck, that scene had to be one of the most bloodiest, most craziest, most wild action sequences I've ever seen. And it is my favorite action sequence in Kingsman. Cinematography for the movie also looks really 
gorgeous. I thought the lighting was very proper. You could see everything that goes on. Every shot looks very well done. Matthew Vaughn, he does a really good job directing this movie. I, like One of the things that's part of this competitive training program for the kids campaign to be in the spy organization is that they had to skydive. And all I'm going to say is that that skydiving sequence in this movie had me at the edge of my seat. So obviously with Matthew Matthew Vaughn. He really knows his filming style. This movie is basically kick-ass meets James Bond with some elements of X-Men First Class put together. But it really is kick-ass and James Bond because James Bond, you have the spy stuff, the spy gadgets that were in this movie were badass, but you also had kick-ass with some of the ultra-bloody violence. There's a moment in the finale of the movie, which I won't spoil, but this particular moment that happens in the finale, and you might know what I'm talking about if you've seen the movie, it had me clapping and laughing hysterically at the same time. So, and it was something unique too. Not only were the action scenes fun, not only is it just a well-directed movie, but I do have to give a lot of credit to the writing because the writing was smart, it was clever, and how they handled this concept was very solid and very well done. But now, I did have some problems with Kingsman The Secret Service, and one of my problems with this movie is that there really wasn't as much action as I thought there was gonna be. And because of that, there are moments, just some moments, where I felt like the movie really was dragging. In terms of dragging, that's the same issue that I actually had with the original Kick-Ass. But see, at least with Kick-Ass, I could say that movie had enough action scenes. With Kingsman, I felt like there weren't enough action scenes. Like, while the finale is really entertaining to watch, I really felt like it didn't give me the adrenaline rush that the other action scenes, the church scene included, gave me. Only one particular scene between Eggsy and Gazelle, the finale, gave me that little adrenaline rush. But And I also do feel like there were certain characters, mainly the students that were in the training program with Eggsy, I felt like they were very underdeveloped and just kind of come and go and that's really it. They really weren't fleshed out. I almost forgot to mention him, but Mark Strong was really awesome in this movie. I loved his character. His character was absolutely fantastic. It was really cool to just see him in roles where he just takes a break from being the usual bad guy, like in Kick-Ass, for example, or even Sherlock Holmes. Overall, I think Kingsman The Secret Service is a bad-ass time. I really enjoyed watching this movie. The action scenes were really fun. For the most part, they gave me the adrenaline rush. The acting was great. Direction was great. Writing was really clever and refreshing. So Kingsman The Secret Service is going to get three out of four stars from me. So comment down below and let me know what did you think of Kingsman The Secret Service and also you guys I got to be on Mark Krojic's channel to spoil and discuss Kingsman The Secret Service along with Jupiter Ascending. It was a really fun discussion so if you want to check it out I'm going to leave a link to that in the description below. This is your Kingsman 22 Tiger Dude and don't forget that I will always have Tiger power!